Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. The weakest link in the fight against gender-based violence and femicide is the South African police services. The DNA crisis is but only one of the reasons why the SAPs continue to fail women and members of the LGBT plus community. During the DA's oversight visit to provinces across the country, looking specifically at the interventions on government by government on GBVF has proven that there are too many gaps and cases gone and forgotten. The process around DNA rape kits at police stations and FCS units is not working. And we see these failures on the ground. This is why it is important to ensure that there are DNA rape kits available at Tutuzela care centers, because waiting to find the closest rape kit is simply ridiculous. After you, Minister, told us that these are stocked at every police station. Still waiting for a DNA rape kit today means TCCs and hospitals will have to ask survivors that have just been raped to wait for a police officer to find a rape kit. And this sometimes means that the survivor cannot wash for days because of fear of losing DNA evidence. This Honorable Jamaat Peterson is what contributes to second degree trauma. Thank the universe for committed GBVF frontline workers that have to use their initiative to make up for the failure by the SAPs in collecting DNA. There are forensic nurses who told us that they need to use sanitary pads in an attempt to save as much DNA evidence as possible. By asking survivors to store these pads in brown bags and bring them back to get processed. It seems as though everything in this country takes long and has long waiting periods from days to months and up to years. The slow processing of DNA is breaking down what needs to be a strong justice system. The backlog at DNA labs is shocking. And the fact that survivors and TCCs have to wait for months and sometimes years to get evidence back is literally allowing rapists to walk free and survivors left waiting for an incompetent state to ensure that the SAPs and DNA labs do their jobs in time. The slow pace in which this government moves is killing us. The only option we have is to fire the ANC. There are so many issues. And Minister, it is not only about doing better, just do something. DNA evidence is one of the most important aspects that lead to conviction, and this needs to be fixed now. I thank you.